I'm Dr. Greg Ellis. One of my Facebook contributors asked a question today that she had heard that people who pursue the low carbohydrate diet for a long time become insulin resistant. Now, there was a lot of what I call low carb bashing going on, has been for decades because the medical boys beat it up so bad and said it was so dangerous because it was going to be high in fat. They bashed Dr. Atkins, they bashed the low-carb diet, they bashed everything. So there's all this misinformation circulating about the low-carb diet. And although there were studies in the last 50 years of the past decade on the low-carb diet, there's a lot of information out there. But recently, some really, really good science has been performed on the low-carb diet, and in particular, looking at it in respect to our health. Now, the question is, what is insulin resistance? Well, the cells take up glucose, and insulin potentiates that process. It assists in it. Insulin is released from the pancreas. The stimulus for the pancreas to release insulin is carbohydrates. So if carbohydrates are held low, there's very little incentive to cause the pancreas to secrete insulin. So it won't. Now fat can get into the cell and be burned and used for energy without any insulin around. Glucose, blood sugar, doesn't do that that easily, although it is the primary stimulus for getting in there, but the insulin potentiates it. Now, insulin resistance means the cells are losing their responsiveness to insulin. Now, typically this happens in obesity and to people who don't exercise. It is not a function of aging per se. People think that as you age, you just become more insulin resistant. No, that's not true. You have to be overweight and not exercising, and that will lead to the insulin resistance which is a mechanism by which the cell blocks the action of insulin. Now, let's go through this logically. When you eat carbohydrates, you secrete insulin. As you become more obese and less active, these are all factors within metabolic syndrome, or syndrome X, you get high blood pressure, abdominal obesity, and all these other conditions occur. So that's when you get insulin resistance. So now if you eat low in carbohydrates, there isn't any reason to be secreting insulin. And you don't need the insulin for any purpose. So it doesn't get secreted and it doesn't have to act and it doesn't do anything. So it's illogical to suggest that a low carbohydrate diet will make you more insulin resistant as time goes on. The truth of the matter is, is that you will become more insulin sensitive and your pancreas will work better, your cells will work better, and if you have to eat carbs, or you do eat carbs, the cells will respond to very low levels of insulin very well, and they won't be resistant. And obviously, if you lose some weight and get some exercise, you'll be even more insulin sensitive. So that's the key of holding on to your insulin sensitivity. My argument, of course, is why do you want to have insulin floating around anyway? It's a nasty hormone. Insulin causes all kinds of problems. It damages things. And there is really a theory called the insulin theory of aging. It causes aging through multiple processes. So now, to my writer, you will not become more insulin resistant. As you continue a low-carb diet, you will become eventually more insulin sensitive. So that's how that works. That's the basic biochemistry of the process. And more carb bashing led to this comment because people just have to say bad things about the low-carb diet because they've been told for so long so many things that are wrong with it. And it's time to upend that apple cart. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis bringing things straight.